Hello there, today's review will be looking at the new Stormtrooper mech that also came out in the August wave. I've already reviewed a few of these sets such as the Boba mech and the 332nd battle pack that you can see in the back of the shot. And if you do want to see my opinions on either of these sets, I will not only link the reviews in the description below, but they will also be on my channel. But for this video, let's crack open this box and see what the Stormtrooper mech is like. And of course, as you can see in the bottom left, I am using the digital PDF instructions, so we'll not need these paper ones that can just sit there until I eventually use it to see if we've got any new pieces, much like I've done for the last two sets. Similarly to Boba, the first bag seems to be building the Stormtrooper itself and the torso. The second bag will go towards the legs and the third bag will go towards the arms and the blaster that the trooper appears to be holding. I've just seen that the trooper's head is indeed different to the angry trooper or whichever Stormtrooper head we are used to getting. Now, of course, if I was to buy another one of these sets, it would have the same minifigure head on it. However... It is nice to see a different head that I don't think has been used before, or at least not on a Stormtrooper. And it's got the new white hip piece for the Stormtroopers and a little black crotch mark on the printed legs, which is different to what we're used to getting, but we'll look at that after I've built the mech. Now looking at the torso here for the Stormtrooper, it seems that unlike Boba and I assume the Vader mech will have, the printed 2x2 two two tile does not match that of the Trooper itself and instead is an Imperial logo printed. And whilst perhaps a Stormtrooper torso printed tile would fit with the set, I do like the fact we've got the Imperial logo as if you do decide to purchase loads of these for parts and trooper minifigures and part out the set and have the minifigures to build an army, you are left with a bunch of these really nice 2x2 two two Imperial logo printed tiles for your custom mocks. And especially with some of the really sleek Imperial hallways we've seen, not all of them are going to be greys and blacks and perhaps if you were to do a white loading bay or Imperial office, much like the ISB one we see in Andor, these tiles could come in really handy in your mock creating. And just like that, bag one is done, on to bag two. I really like the interesting way that the designers have decided to cover up this middle piece here. As you can see, there are no studs on it, so they've had to connect other bricks to it, and much like the Boba one, used a round tile to form that kneecap. Now the build uses two of these half round bricks here, which I haven't seen before, and whilst I don't think they are new, they're definitely new to me, and once again, gets that nice rounding to the knees of the Trooper mech. And once again, the foot here uses some really cool techniques, nothing too fancy or difficult to put together, but a nice, strong, sturdy build that makes for a really cool Stormtrooper boot. And if you didn't guess, we've got to do everything the other symmetrical side for the other leg and the other foot. Can't forget this piece this time. And whilst this is quite a repetitive build in the fact that you've got to build the left arm, the right arm, the left leg, the right leg, it doesn't feel like it's getting too repetitive as they're not identical designs. And of course, you have to do the same things, but it feels like you're doing them backwards. Which splits up the building and allows for it to still be just as relaxing as if you were building completely different builds. And that is why I've chosen not to pick up the spider tank due to so many legs and the whole build looking very repetitive. 
Now let's see if I can build this foot without using the rest of the instructions. And as you can see, I think I've done a good job. They look like they pair up and I guess I could have just used this in the first place, but I didn't use any of the PDF instructions. The instruction book remains still and it's not too much of a complicated build that you can't build one side of the trooper and try to build the other based on what you did in the first run which could make for a fun little tournament if you and a group of people decided to each build a mech yourself. Or perhaps you can set yourself a time limit and see if you can build the entire mech within that period. Now I've had my fun onto bag three and I think I'll be sticking to the instructions for this one. Now all the studs that do come with this Stormtrooper mech do have the little holes in it which are really good for custom builds as it allows you to do just so much more with these than studs that have the top bit filled in. So if you are looking at parting out this set do not skip on the Stormtrooper one as it too does have a load of cool pieces. Be careful how much force you do put on this front piece when you're putting the arms on as I did just pop it off. I was probably being too rough with it as it is only a few Lego bricks. And also the trooper does fit in with his blaster in his hand. However, if you wanted to look a little bit sleeker, you can take it out of his hand and perhaps put it on his waist here where it'll be concealed hopefully by the blaster in the hand of the mech. I never liked the old stud shooters but I will admit these new ones that fit the stud in on its side are really starting to warm up on me. Now this gun is meant to be I believe it's the E3 rifle that the stormtroopers use in the movies and doesn't look too dissimilar to the rifle that Boba's holding here but as you can see it's mostly the back part that's different. Boba having his shoulder pad whereas the EE3 just has this stud. Overall the mech looks really cool and especially with how they've designed these guns with the stud shooters at the end is really smart as it makes for a really great play feature where you can load a stud and let it fire away. And thankfully I caught that one as I was finding studs everywhere after building my Boba mech when I made my review on that. And I've tried to keep all the pieces together and as you can see there's not too many spare pieces and most of which did come from that last bag with a lot of studs being used and you do get an extra one of each of the grey and black one by one round tiles and I'll definitely be adding them to my collection. You also get a fair number of these translucent red studs and I have so many of these now between these and the blue ones I could fill a whole bucket of just these alone but with how easy they are to use I do think Lego need to be giving us these many as I'm an adult and even I lose so many of these studs. Taking a look back at the mech as you can see the Stormtrooper blaster that I clipped to his waist is easily concealed by the arm and the weapon and the posability on the gun is really cool as it's just a Technic pin holding it in and means that the trooper can be firing in any direction so nobody is safe from the trooper's blaster. Well, at least not if he hits the target, which we know troopers are not quite known for. But taking a look once again at the minifigure and the mech, I don't think this is really an army builder, as you do only get the one stormtrooper. However, if you do want an extra stormtrooper or two, it is worth picking up a couple of these sets, as I said, you get the cool Imperial logo on the front on a 2x2 toll, a really nice looking Stormtrooper, and a really cool mech. So you might be worth leaving one of these built and parting out any more you get. And if we were to compare 
this Stormtrooper to the older one we've been used to getting. The helmets are the same, and if you can look under the helmets, this Stormtrooper does have the old angry clone face, and it's so nice that recent Stormtroopers have been getting different faces, I noticed even with the Snowtroopers and other variants of Imperial Troopers, they've been given unique faces. But it would just be really nice to get perhaps a mystery face in some sets, so that you can keep collecting more and more sets, and you don't know which face that you're going to get. Now of course this would be a big step for LEGO and would be a lot harder than including the same face in all the sets. However, I'm still not giving up on that idea as I think it would make lots of money and also give us plenty more heads, perhaps even for custom figures. If you look closely at the new minifigure, you can also see the printing is different to the one that I've got here. And besides the white hip piece, which is replacing the black, the legs do have a slightly updated printing, which does make the minifigure look really good. Even if we were to take one of the old minifigures and add a white hip piece to their legs, the trooper still stands out and just look at all that detail in the new one compared to the old one. Now, they have really smashed it with all the minifigures in these mechs, and as you can see, there are a total of three mechs. I have already reviewed the Boba one, and the Vader one is still to come. So stay tuned and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out when that video drops. And the Boba one I'll leave tagged on screen now. I'm really happy I managed to pick this up and even the Trooper minifigure is really cool. May the Force be with you, always.